How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today we gotta make some improvements to the pole barn. All right, y'all stick around. All right, this place needs to be more accessible, so that's the improvement we're gonna make or the needed fix that we're gonna do. So by the end of the video, you'll see how we make the uh, adjustments to this sliding door here. Let me show you this door. So this door has a rail that, that's, well, actually has two rails. You can see there's a split in that rail up there. See that? See my big old ugly finger up in there? Anyway, there's a gap there, and that needs to be fixed. Because this big old door doesn't open very well on these two pieces. So I've got to get up there, and I've got to fix that gap here so that it quits. Uh, there's pulleys. But I'm going to show you all that here in just a second. Uh, we I've tried to fix it with just kind of getting up there on the step ladder and... and uh, sliding it back with my hand. You can't get a lot of leverage with the stepladder. So in order for me to fix this properly, I'm going to need uh, a special tool. And I've got that tool now, this thing right here. That's a Titan attachment safety case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that Titan attachment safety case together. And then uh, we're going to get up there. We're going to put it on the Mahindra 4540. Get up there and fix that door because without that door being fixed, man, it's just, I mean, it's miserable. Like I say, we're, we have cookouts here. We have get-togethers here. We have a lot of stuff that goes on in this pole barn that that door needs to open and close. And the door, and I'll talk more about this later in the video, but I'll tell you why that door is important here in just a minute. This is the safety cage we have to assemble. It is the Titan uh wp 10 pc two-person safety cage so let's get this thing put together and get our door fixed what do you say Hey, now that we got this thing assembled, there's two things I want to tell you. Number one is, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, but you like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. We'd appreciate it. And number two is, this is the first video we're putting out in 2020. So I just want to say, hey, I'm, we're praying that God blesses you in 2020. Hopefully you have a prosperous and healthy new year and uh, all the blessings that come with it. So let's talk about the cage itself. This cage is designed for two men, uh, working not to exceed 200 kilograms. What I need to do the conversion, didn't do the conversion. But anyway, it's obviously big enough for one dude and a dog, right? Huh? How much you weigh, Gideon? <laughs> but anyway, uh, I really like it. It's solid. The only thing I found out about assembling this thing is these rails uh, have paint in the threads in them. So I had to start the screws into the threads, back and back out, and then assemble them onto the platform. Uh, other than that though, it was really really simple to put together. So now that it's together and it's nice and secure Let's go ahead and uh, get started on this barn door so we can get it fixed I'm a little nervous about this guys I don't get to drive the tractor often and he's gonna trust me to lift him up in this cage Yikes What we're going to do is I'm going to get in here and Gina's going to have to raise me up and let me get uh, where I can work on this thing. So I've got to tell Gina, i got to give her a little refresher course, I guess you'd say. What do you think about that, Gina? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's tell Gina how I want to be uh, proceed when we get this bucket raised up. All right, so when you raise me up on this thing in this safety cage here, make sure that uh, the tractor is in neutral so that way you don't accidentally pop the clutch and throw me, <laughs> <laughs> throw me in the barn, throw me out of the barn here, throw me through the roof or send me through the roof or whatever. All right, and you know the controls here, go down to go up, go up to go, go down. And you don't, you probably don't need to check the right? Um, today. no. So, but anyway, all right, so, um, uh, that's, that's just, the main thing is to make sure it's in neutral so you don't, you don't jerk me out of the, um, the cage. Okay, are you here. far enough forward? Uh, I think so. We'll see. If not, then you can always... So, do I need to do anything with the foot controls? Not yet. Okay. 
Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, that's what we got to fix right there. This is so much easier than on a step ladder. Somebody forgot a hammer. <laughs> okay, we found out that we've got, um, I was trying to move this spot, but it's actually come out in a different spot as well. Can you see that? It's out of that, it's out of that bracket as well. So we got to do this one first before we're able to do the other side. So Gina's moving the tractor and I'm going to get uh, back up there and move this one. Now this thing does have rings for safety harnesses and I'll, I'll get one so that I'm a little more secure when I get up there, but this is what I was talking about. I gotta fix that one now. All right, I've got this one fixed. Now I gotta go back over there. All right, you can see we got it a lot closer now, and so that's not going to go anywhere. So now I've got to secure it now that I've got it back into the bracket. Now that the rails are butted up together in the brackets, you can see this far left bracket here. I'm going to put a screw in that. You can see to the right of the exterior bracket, there's the actual wheels that travel in the track uh, or the channel, if you will. Uh, that that's as far as it needs to go. So I can actually run a screw through that bracket and be fine. The door can still open all the way to the left, providing that, that accessibility into the, the opening. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this liquid wrench, white lithium grease. Uh, we're gonna and, and spray that with the wheels that are inside the track. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing down on that end. It's kind of, I guess you'd call it a modified set screw, if you will.
Man, I'm telling you, this safety cage makes a world of difference when you're up there operating high. Yeah, really I cool. can imagine what uh, projects Gina's got for me, trimming <laughs> tree limbs and stuff like that. Let's see how yeah. easier it is now to open this door, now that we've got the tracks aligned, now that we've made this improvement to our accessibility of our barn door. Fingers crossed. Hey, before... Before, I couldn't even use one hand. I was no, I couldn't hand. even open it by myself. Yeah, before. Gina had a difficult time doing it as well. But hey, if you want to see more videos like that, click on this box right here. That box will take you to another playlist. And above that, it's a white circle. And that's a subscribe page. Please go over there, hit the subscribe button. We'd appreciate it. And I hope you all have a blessed 2020. You guys take care. We'll catch you on the next one.